the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We thank you, God our Father, for the gift of this day. As we come to listen to your word, may your spirit be with us. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brethren, has God rejected his people? By no means. I myself am an Israelite, a descendant of Abraham, a member of the tribe of Benjamin. God has not rejected his people whom he, he foreknew. So I ask, have they stumbled so as to fall? By no means, but through their trespass, salvation has come to the Gentiles. So as to make Israel jealous. Now if their trespass means riches for the world, and if their failure means riches for the Gentiles, how much more will their full inclusion mean? Lest you be wise in your own conceits. I want you to understand this mystery, brethren. A hardening has come upon part of Israel until the full number of the Gentiles come in. And so, all Israel will be saved. As it is written, the deliverer will come from Zion. He will banish ungodliness from Jacob. And this will be my covenant with them when I take away their sins. As regards the gospel, they are enemies of God for your sake. But as regards election, they are beloved for the sake of their forefathers, for the gifts and the call of God are irre irrevocable. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will not abandon his people. The Lord will not abandon his people. Blessed the man whom you disciple, whom you discipline, O Lord whom you train by means of your law, to whom you give peace in evil days. The, the Lord, Lord will, will not abandon, abandon his people. people. The Lord will not abandon his people, nor fors forsake those who are, in herit his, who are his heritage. For judgment shall again be just, and all true hearts shall uphold it. The, the Lord, Lord will, will not abandon his, his people. If the Lord if the Lord were not to help me, my soul would soon go down to the silence. When I think I have lost my foothold, your mercy, O oh Lord, holds me up. The, the Lord, Lord will, will not abandon, abandon his people. people. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Take my yoke upon you, says the Lord, and learn from me, for I'm gentle and slowly in and lowly in heart. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. One Sabbath, when Jesus went to dine at the house of a ruler who belonged to the Pharisees, they were watching him. Now, he told a parable to those who were invited when he marked how they chose the places of honor, saying to them, when you are invited by anyone to a marriage feast, do not sit down in a place of honor. 
lest a more eminent man than you be invited by him. And he who invited you both will come and say to you, give place to this man. And then you will begin with shame to take the lowest place. But when you are invited, go and sit in the lowest place so that when your host comes, he may say to you, friend, go up higher. And then you will be honored in the presence of all who sit at table with you. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today, the 4th of November, 2023, Saturday of the 30th week in Ordinary Time, we celebrate St. Charles Borromeo from trading as a lawyer, he later, after undergoing the pertinent formation and fulfilling the requirements as set down at that time, he was made Bishop of Milan. Among the many things he did, he established seminaries for proper formation of clergy and ensured that priests lived lives that were worthy of their calling. The Word of God today teaches us the virtue of humility. Humility is recognizing your strength prudently and accepting your weaknesses with respect. Acknowledging the gifts in others, uplifting the dignity of others without in any way openly or indirectly attempting to diminish the gifts of God in other people. St. Charles Borromeo stands as an example for us in this virtue. And Mother Mary, whose day is always Saturday, is the example of our excellence that all of us should emulate when it comes to practicing the virtue of humility. It is God who is to exalt us. Our work is to do what we are supposed to do and let the exalting be done by God or by the human beings with whom we work. When you are a Paris priest, you don't need to write behind or on your t-shirt that I am Paris priest. Do your work as a Paris priest and people will know that you are a Paris priest. When you have a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, or a PhD, you don't need to write on your car that the driver of this car is a PhD holder. Just do your work, do it well, and people will say, yes, this man, it would seem, has a PhD. 
when you are given a position, discharge it well. Discharge it with humility. And let it be other people to exalt you. In the book of Acts, chapter 11, verse 26, we are told that it was at Antioch that for the first time, the believers in Jesus Christ were called Christians. They were called by others because people quickly saw the uniqueness that characterized their lives and they say these people should be Christians, must be Christians. They didn't talk of it themselves, but they simply lived their lives, did their work, and it was others who said that these people should be Christians. Paul tells the church in Rome that the gifts and the call of God are irrevocable. God gives his gifts to whomsoever he wishes, and he doesn't withdraw them. He means that we should do what we are supposed to do to turn the whole world into his kingdom. He does not reject us, and he will not abandon us because his love, his mercy, his forgiveness do not run out of supply. We pray, dear friends, that we may emulate the examples put before us today, most especially of St. Charles Borromeo and of Mary, our Blessed Mother. And we follow in the footsteps of humility so that in our own wonderfully and yet simple ways, we may turn the whole world into God's kingdom. The Lord be with you. God, our Father, we thank you for being with us, and we ask that through the intercession of St. Charles Borromeo, we may be your humble servants. Bless us, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.